Thank you. I take one more question here. The lady in the second row. Thank you very much. My name is Maria Kurina. I'm from Ukraine, human rights defender from Lugansk. I wish the future of Europe will be discussed with Ukraine, not about Ukraine. And I also would like to ask, why do you have agency to think that Ukraine will not be able to enter the EU? Please respect there are a lot of Ukrainians here and we can be vocal enough. We are fighting for our democratic future currently and to the rule of law, protecting all Europe from collapse of democratic winners. Thank you very much. Uh, as a human rights defender, I feel like I'm so grateful being here, but not because of myself. I would like to be a voice of those uh, Ukrainians who faced uh, severe situations in Ukraine due to the Russian aggression and the occupation. I can share the story about my colleague Irina Danilovich. Irina Danilovich is a journalist contributing to our uh, non-profit media telling the truth about uh, suppression of uh, freedom of speech, about persecution of all activists. We were so worried since 29th of April when uh, Irina disappeared. We haven't known about her uh, whereabouts for 11 days. We've been asking in every detention center in Russia and in Crimea. And then only when we told the story publicly, we found out that she is in the detention center in Simferopol in Crimea. She had been held in secret service building for eight days. She was fed only once. She was taken to bathroom only once a day and uh, threatened uh, to be taken to Mariupol where high hostilities took place. She was forced to go through lie detector and then to sign some blank uh, white uh, papers. Once she's done that, this so-called law enforcement found in her back 200 grams of explosions. This is what occupying power have been doing for years with Ukrainian uh, activists to create politically motivated cases. Now Irina is in jail, she was subjected to illegal tortures and she can face six years of imprisonment. I urge you to raise a voice and to take a stand about regular Ukrainians who want to, to be free and wait for Ukrainians to liberate Crimea. So please share her story with the hashtag Free Danilovich. I feel it's our common fight, fight for democratic values, for rule of law and for human rights. We Ukrainians fight uh, without any tiredness and we really would like the war, Russia's aggression, stops on us. That is why we urge Europe and ask Europe to help us. If you are a decision maker, please continue to tighten sanctions, especially on those who violate human rights and uh, commit war crimes and crimes against humanities. If your Albach community continue to be vocal about Ukrainians who are in captivity, who faced enforced disappearances and degrading treatment. And uh, if you are just European regular citizen, please continue to support Ukrainians. Ukrainians are not victims, we are winners and we are both assets in Europe and a bridge to our mutual friendship. I have no doubts that we will win, but the cost is very pricey.